Alright, so that isn't the worst result against what were the league leaders, but it's a game that we should have won. It is Leicester, I know they've been high flying, but Arsenal beat this team 5-2, and these are the games you kind of have to win. I know last week it was another game that we kind of had to win, and we did win it, and other teams dropped points. We've dropped points now, which means if Arsenal win again, we're back to fourth. It's that close at the top of the table. You can go from first or second to fourth instantly. And yeah, it's a bit disappointing to be honest. Uh, fair play, obviously the big story in this game is uh, Jamie Vardy beating the record. Congratulations to him. But for me, it's going to be remembered for Bastien Schweinsteiger's first goal for Manchester United because I'm not really bothered about what Leicester do at all because I support Manchester United. So anyway, uh, early on, we, we start a 3-4-1-2 or a 3-5-2, whatever you want to call it. And... Uh, I, w I was actually pretty happy that we went with this because it shows that we're trying to change something. Maybe, you know, we'd have more pace on the counter-attack, but it didn't really turn out that way. It was just the same United as we've seen for God knows how long this season. But in fairness, it created a few chances, but the first real chance of no came to Leicester. And this was directly from a corner that uh, we couldn't score. It was our corner, and then the goalkeeper, Schmeichel, passes it off, and they break and score. And what annoys me most... Well, it kind of highlights the fact how how important Chris Smalling is for us. Because he was uh, up for the corner, obviously he wasn't in defence. Neither was Daley Blind, to be honest. He's uh, quite underrated for our team. But yeah, it was left to Dormian, Young and Carrick to defend it. And they couldn't. Vardy ran in behind. He lost, um, I think it was Young who was marking him. And uh, yeah, he just, he just smashes it in for his 11th game in a row. And uh, yeah, from then on in, Leicester looked a bit more dangerous. But we did get the next great chance and it ended up in the back of the net. It was a Schweinsteiger header, a really, really good header from the corner. Uh, there's some tugging going on from either player. And he's shown great strength and he manages to head it in. Uh, Schmeichel's a bit out of position, but it's 1-1 right before half-time. That changed the complexion of the game. And then in the second half, we had a few... Decent chances, Feinstein had the best one for us again. It was a header and it was saved and Rooney was offside but he missed anyway. And then Leicester's best chance fell to Ajoa who uh, he, he should have really scored. It was on the break but it was a fantastic save by David De Gea. And uh, there wasn't really too much after that. There was a few half chances. Memphis had a good chance when he was subbed on for Rooney because he picked up a slight knock. But yeah, Memphis is one on one. His first touch wasn't great. But, um, that, well, that, that's the reason why he missed it, because his first touch was bad, so the, the resulting shot went skyward. To be fair to Memphis, it was probably one of his better games. He was only on for 20, 30 minutes. Apart from that, he didn't do much wrong. And he, he instead of trying to take everyone on, he actually played, you know, some decent passes, and he played for the team. There was a cross that came to Mata, uh, a great cross from Memphis. Mata's in space, but it was great defending from, uh, was it Schlupp or Delat? It was one of... Leicester's defenders anyway it probably wasn't either of those but anyway it finished 1-1 probably a fair result on the day but uh, yeah it is a little bit annoying because now we're third with Arsenal playing tomorrow and as I say that could be us down to fourth I mean we are still only I think we're only one point off the top one or two points off City because they won today uh, a resounding 3-1 win something like that against Southampton but anyway we really need to kick on we've got some winnable fixtures next I think our next fixture is West Ham now we need to win that they're without Payet and they don't look the same team without him. And then after that, two must-win games against Norwich and Bournemouth, I think. I uh, don't know which order. But yeah, we played the last two of the newly promoted sides. And uh, yeah, we definitely need... We need nine points from that, to be honest. To, to actually go for the title, we need nine out of nine points. And uh, yeah, I believe we can do it. We just need to take more of our chances, to be honest. But yeah, fair play to Leicester for where they are. And well done to Jamie Vardy for smashing the record. But get in, Bastian Feinsteiger for your first goal for Manchester United.